The international community has committed itself to new sustainable development goals that underline the right of all human beings to live in a safe environment. It is our common responsibility to protect the environment and to mitigate the impacts of both natural and man-made disasters. Since the mid-90s, there's been growing recognition of and concern about the human and environmental consequences of historic uranium production in Central Asia. These consequences represent a threat to human health and the environment. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan became independent republics in 1991 and inherited an estimated 1 billion tonnes of hazardous processing waste, highly toxic chemical and radioactive residues left behind and unsafely stored in tailing sites and waste dumps. In this seismically active region, which frequently sees heavy rains causing erosion, mudslides and landslides, the many tailing sites represent a real threat to human health and the environment. Land contaminated by historical mining activity has diminished the region's capacity for safe development. Water contaminated by this activity is adding to the already significant regional strain on water resources. Как вам сказать, орлы, гуйлот, рак, рак, орлы, рыцы, гуйлот, 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 and the whole situation needs to be contained. We need to stop the spreading of this material locally towards the population, towards the cattle who are grazing the grass, towards those who want to start arable farming, who wants to have fruit and vegetables there. Some of the material are already into the big rivers down there and it goes from country to country uh, and therefore it can further spread. From that perspective, it's not only a local or a national problem, it's also a regional problem. And you have to stop the pollution coming from the source in order to avoid that further regional spread of this material takes place. That's why we are there. We are there for, to show solidarity to the people there, but also to give them the possibility to build a more prosperous future. И э, добавлю, что в своем заключительном этом добавлю, что мы доверяем МАГАТЕ, мы доверяем Европейской комиссии, которая тоже подключился к этой проблеме. Я думаю, что в конце концов вот эти площади под бывших уральных хвостохранилищ будет, будет выполнены таком образом, в мировом стандарте, чтобы на столетии наши дети будут рады этими нашими, нашими трудами. The European Union is funding a number of projects in the region to prepare the ground for future environmental remediation activities. Four environmental impact assessment and feasibility studies for projects located in seven hotspots in Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. One water treatment facility in Taboshar, Tajikistan for cleaning toxic mine water. And two regional projects that will enhance local stakeholders' engagement in remediation projects and foster cooperation among concerned countries in the field of regional watershed monitoring system, regulatory framework and analytical monitoring capacities. In 2015, the EBRD, European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, established a multi-donor environmental remediation fund that will finance the environmental remediation of targeted uranium legacy sites in Central Asia.
The European Union is the first donor to contribute to this fund. A donors conference to support the new EBRD will bring together stakeholders from governments, technical advisors, international organizations, NGOs, foundations, research institutions and the media. The European Commission and his partners call upon all interested stakeholders to take part in the donors conference and for governments to contribute to the EBRD fund. This fund is indeed crucial to avert the threat from the Iranian legacy sites in Central Asia towards human health and environment.